In this video, we will go through tables in Tableau. Besides building visualization, tables of data also comes in useful for users. And table also makes it easier for us to perform checks on the calculated fields. We will learn more about calculated fields in the next video. So here, again we are using the sample super store data. We have a bar chart of the sum of the sales by subcategory. We can then duplicate this as a cross tab. So what we have to do is to right click on the worksheet and click on duplicate as cross tab. So here we have the data that is used in the chart in a table form. We can also create a text table. We can place the dimension onto the row shelf and the measure onto the text marks card here. So here we have a table with a single measure value. We can also have multiple measure values by double clicking on another measure. Tableau will then automatically group them together as measure values. Here we can also add or remove more measure values by dragging them into these measure values here or we can remove them by dragging them outside of it. And over here on the column shelf, we have the measure names which will be set as the column header based on the name of the measures. We can also rename the measures by using an alias. So for example, we can right click on the column header and add the alias. And in this case, we want to rename sales as revenue. Okay, now let's remove sales. And you'll notice that the column name now disappeared. So this is quite an annoying thing in Tableau. So when we try to do a table with one measure value, the column header name is not automatically populated. So what we can do is to drag these measure values onto the column. And now we have our column header again. Let's also go through what are some of the other things you can do on the table. We can perform a sort based on the values. So one way is to click on this icon which appears when you hover onto the column header. So this will sort the profit from largest to the smallest. So here what it actually does is a nested sort on the dimension. We can also do this by right clicking on the dimension. So here we see that the nested sort has already been applied based on the profit by the sum of the profits. We can also change this sort by the alphabetical order. So what this will do is that it will sort the data based on the alphabetical order of the subcategory. We can also do some formatting on this table. For example, we can do some conditional coloring on the text. So what we can do is to click on control and drag this into the colors mark. So now we have set the profit color to green as positive and the negative color as red. We can also change this to a highlight table. So we can click on this marks card here and we change it to square. Now we have the entire cell highlighted with the color. We can also add more details into the table. For example, we can add a grand total. So we click on analysis and we go to total. And now we have a grand total row here added. And when we include more dimension, we may also want to look at subtotal. So now let's add category before the subtotal. And then we go to analysis again and select add 
or subtotals. Now we have this subtotal at the category level. And one more thing I want to introduce is on hierarchy. When we set up a hierarchy, we can click and drill down into the hierarchy. For example here, the subcategory is a subset of the category. So what we can do is click on subcategory and press control and we select category as well. Now we have this tool selected, we can right click and create a hierarchy. So what this does is that it, you will notice a negative sign appearing on top of the category. So with this, now we can click on the table to collapse or expand the table. And in the next video, we will continue to work with tables and learn about calculated fields.